Hello, hello, thank you so much for stopping by. Let's make my hazelnut and caramel chocolate squares. And first we're going to do the shortbread. So I grated the butter because I figure not all of us have a food processor at home. So that's how we're going to do it in this recipe. So let's start off by adding the sugar and the salt to the flour, give it a good mix. And then we're gonna go in with the butter. We need to try to keep the butter from melting. So that's why we're going to use a spatula. Just mix it in with the flour until it's, um, it forms what looks like a shaggy dough. And then we're gonna go in with our hands, which is fun, right? Okay, okay, maybe not everyone is a fan of using their hands. But just go ahead and um, mix it in until there are no um, pockets of flour. Then add in the vanilla. And mix it again for a few seconds, not too long that the butter starts to melt. Just until it, you know, seems to come together, but it's still lumpy, but big chunks, you know? And when that's done, we're going to tip it into our um, baking tin that has been lined with parchment paper. Evenly spread it into the baking tin and use the bottom of a glass to press onto it. And what I do to get the neat edges is to fold the parchment paper onto it. Do the same for all sides and bake at 175 degrees Celsius for 35 minutes. And while that bakes, let's make the caramel. Add the sugar and the water to a heavy bottomed pan over high heat. There's no need to stir. Actually, you should not stir <laughs> or shake the pan. Just leave it alone and let it come to a boil. After about seven minutes, it will turn into a nice golden amber color and that's when you add in your cream. It will get quite steamy, so you need to be very careful not to have your face right on top of the, uh, of the pot. And um, while shooting this video, I realized that I should, it would actually be easier to use a whisk. So if you have one, I would recommend to use a whisk instead of a spoon. <clears throat> I meant cooking spoon, not the spoon that you used to eat. And that's it, our caramel is done. At first it looks quite light, but give it a few minutes and it will thicken. And now we move on to toasting our blanched hazelnuts. Do so over medium heat and make sure to give the pan a little shake every once in a while. It should take about five minutes. And when you're done, use the bottom of a glass to split up the hazelnuts. You don't wanna crush them, just split them up. Our shortbread is ready. It's been cooling for about 30 minutes, so we're going to go ahead and start the topping. Evenly spread the hazelnuts over the shortbread and top that with the caramel. Give it a gentle tap and put it in the fridge to set for about 30 minutes to an hour. And now that that is set, we're going to proceed to top it off with the chocolate. And since it is a little cold, you would need to rush through adding the chocolate onto it. That's because of the difference in temperature, which will cause the chocolate to solidify quite quickly. So give it a wiggle and um, let it set in the fridge for about an hour or until it's um, hard. And this is what it should look like. And now we're ready to portion it. But first, wait, let me show you what it looked like. I have to say, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna toot my horn just a little bit, guys, just a little bit. This looks good. The shortbread is well-baked. The caramel, oh, the chocolate, the hazelnut, everything is just going to come together to make this mind-blowing, dirty, dessert that will make you want more really okay enough talk let's just cut through it and 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 get to eating if you're having a bake sale these would be perfect so make them guys make them and tell me how they were of course i had another one i had two i okay i promise i did not have any more than two but each bite was absolutely worth it and now we'll just wait another week before we have dessert. <laughs> so are you going to make them? 
I hope you do. And I hope you come back, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and see you again soon.